hey guys welcome into today's video today i thought it would be fun to just do i think a little bit of a get ready with me testing some of my newly hauled makeup i did a sephora haul a couple of weeks ago and some of this stuff has just been sitting here but also some of the stuff didn't come from the support haul. So it's gonna be a mixture of stuff. I'm really just getting ready. What is on today's agenda is I have all of the new Rare Beauty releases. I've already done the Rare Beauty brow pencil in a speed reviews, but I haven't tested the eyeshadow sticks or the eyeliner yet, so I wanted to try that. I have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Highlighting Blush. I am excited for that. I have some new cream or liquid blushes from Moira Beauty. These are their Love Steady Liquid Blushes in the Radiant Finish. I have two shades. I figure we'll just do one on either side of the cheek. I have one of the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Lip Blurs. I did try this on very briefly in my Sephora haul video, but I haven't left it on. I also have some BH Cosmetics releases. I have some of their lip oils and one of their 411 lip glaze, like the shimmer lip gloss, but I also got their blushes that just came out. So many blushes that I can't really try them all on. The two things that I'm going to also use today that I know that I've tried on camera is the new Prada foundation, the Re Reveal foundation. This looks so beautiful the one time I tried it, so I'm so excited to put it on again. And then I've really been loving the Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara, so that's really what is gonna go on my face today. That's it, so let's hop right into it. Feel like I'll start with the eyes. So this cream shadow, these cream shadows from Rare Beauty, I'm not sure if I wanna use primer or just straight on the lid. The Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, like I hold those in the Sephora haul. And I have to tell you, I tried them, but they slipped right off. And so I'm wondering if the trick is to put a little bit of primer down, like not too much, but just a little bit. So these cream shadows stick a little bit more. So that's really what I wanna do is to just test it out. And I figured if we're gonna use the Rare Beauty cream shadows, what better than to use her eyeshadow primer? Actually, let's go into this brow harmony first. So this is her micro fine version. This does come with kind of a, a bigger tip than really just the micro fine brow pencil. It's thin, but it has a little bit of a shape to it, just like her other brow harmony. This one is in Rich Taupe, which is the same color that I got her uh, original brow harmony in. I, I really like this. I would say that her shades tend to run a little dark for me, but I still think it works and I still think it's beautiful. I really prefer this formula over the other one because the other one is really creamy and it kind of slips around a little bit, whereas I think this one is a little bit drier of a formula. So it's like the perfected version of this pencil, in my opinion. Although this one like definitely has more red in it. I feel like it has more warmth in the tone than say a normal taupe has. And what I normally go for is a cooler tone shade to really match the coolness of my brows. This one isn't that, it doesn't match it perfectly. It does, it does give it a little bit of a shade. This packaging is also really heavy for a micro fine brow pencil or just a thinner tipped pencil in general. The two shades that I got in the all of the above weightless eyeshadow sticks were one light shade, which is in Integrity, and then the more burgundy shade is in Compassion. So I figure we go into the Compassion shade first and really just kind of like build kind of the crease maybe maybe all over i really don't have a lot of experience with cream shadows so i don't know what i like yet although i'm just really getting into them more and more so i kind of feel like i want to i don't know build it with my finger like blend it in i just want it to be a simpler process Otherwise, I kind of feel like it defeats the purpose. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I don't find this super easy. What do you guys do with eyeshadow sticks? I'm just not proficient with them and I feel like this formula is better than me. Like it dries down really fast, so it stays where you put it. I almost feel like you want to use this as like liner instead of like all over like I'm doing, but that's what I get for trying to do something for the first time on camera that I've never done before. I mean, this is such a pretty shade and such an easy formula. I just feel like I'm spending an extra amount of time trying to decide how I want the eye look to go or how I just want to 
utilize these sticks. This is such a beautiful shade. It's so different. It's like purple with, I don't know, burgundy with like a little bit of gold with a little bit of brown. It's such a beautiful shade. I don't know if that's really translating to the eyes because I'm blending it in and diffusing it out quite a bit, but it's gorgeous. So I feel like you could just kind of use this on its own. Problem is I'm using this like I normally would kind of a powder shadow. And I just don't think you necessarily want to do that. Let me go into the integrity shade and I want to try that like all over the lid. See with these shadows, it kind of looks like, like it's it doesn't lay evenly when you start blending it in with your fingers. Like once you start blending it in, it kind of like the color doesn't stay solid. It's kind of just better just to leave it. But this formula is so nice. If you guys are used to using stick shadows i feel like this would be a really good formula this is kind of a, a gold champagne gold shade i feel like this would be good all over i am not loving that let me see if i can like move this around with a brush i kind of feel like this one maybe dries a little bit quickly because the ones from laura mercier those caviar sticks those are the easiest things to blend in ever. They make you think that you're good at using eyeshadow sticks. And then, you know, when you try other formulas, you realize, oh, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing exactly. Kind of like with my hair right now. And then I got the gel eyeliner. So I kind of figured we could just do a little bit of liner too. I have swatched it and it's really, really budge proof. It doesn't have as much shimmer as the eyeshadow stick. I like this formula a lot. I wouldn't normally put it there. I would normally put it in my waterline, but I'm not gonna do lower lash mascara today. So I'm gonna keep it off of there. Do you know what? I think I wanna put a lip oil on while I'm sitting here. So the two lip oils that I got from BH Cosmetics were Candy Cherry, and they're kind of two-toned. So it's a lighter pink and then a red at the bottom. And then this one is obviously Watermelon. I'm trying to find like the exact name, but it's only on the stickers And so I did take this one off and try it. So since I've tried this I'm gonna try this one here in candy cherry if you don't know this I'm a pretty big fan of BH cosmetics overall and I think they're trying to Kind of like make a comeback in the market and so they launched a couple of new releases after kind of what I would consider like a hiatus after makeup revolution purchased them they put out some palettes like face palettes and eyeshadow palettes last summer but they waited an entire year to launch the next launch which was a couple of bronzers I they did a highlighter they did a cream bronzer and a powder bronzer and then they just put out the liquid blushes and these came out I think the same time so these are really comfortable there's no real tint to them they're pretty looking and they smell good okay maybe that one smells like a little like kids cough syrup but this one distinctly smells like watermelon okay let's go into this foundation so this foundation just recently launched on Harrods website it's a new release for Prada like their new makeup line and they launched seven things total which was three skincare items I actually think it was eight but I cannot find the eighth item on Harrods website anymore I'm just gonna apply that much and I'm going to blend in with the brush. This was a clean brush, I've only used it for this foundation. So they had a balm that I cannot find. The three skincare items were a cleanser, a, um, a serum, and then a moisturizer. And those were all really expensive, but the four makeup items, no, five makeup items were the balm. Again, I could not find that. There were two lipsticks, one in a super matte or soft matte formula, one in a hyper matte. They had the foundation and eyeshadow palettes. And there were like six different color stories. I have my video up on this. You guys, if you're returning viewers, I'm sure you've seen it because as I sit and apply my makeup right now, the video is going up in, I don't know, less than 30 minutes. But if you haven't seen that, you guys, I'll go ahead and link it up above. No, my linking hasn't been taking lately so if it doesn't link just go and check out my channel if you guys are interested in seeing a full try on of all of the items there is just something about this foundation something about it can you see how freaking like smooth my skin looks it just perfects my skin there's nothing heavy or harsh about it it like fills in my pores i don't know why but it makes me look 
so smooth so smooth i'm really enjoying this and for a 56 dollars foundation i feel like i have more expensive foundations in my collection or some that are relatively comparably priced i'm going in with my dior forever skin correct and 2n this is the old version not the reformulated i still love the original i'm picking back up where i left off talking and they just don't perform as good as that one does it's highly fragranced so if you guys don't like fragrance, you're not going to like the scent of that. It doesn't linger for me, but I don't know any real foundation scent or fragrance that does linger after about three minutes. It's it's usually gone for me. It's a beautiful scent though. It almost smells perfumey, but I couldn't tell you what perfume. It's just sweet smelling, just perfume smelling. The first time that I put this on, I used it with my Dior powder, no powder. And usually that perfects my skin. So I really wanted to get up here and see like, is it the foundation or was it the powder? And it's definitely the foundation. There's just something so beautiful about it. I really like the one layer approach. I think it's beautiful and I don't think it's too heavy. And you can build this up though. I have built it up. So I know that it builds really nicely. I am gonna use my Westman Atelier Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. I just did a recent luxury makeup collection video. Pulling all this stuff back out and looking at it again, it reminds you of what you have in your collection. And you kind of get to swatch things again and go, oh, how come I haven't grabbed that in a while? I should probably do another like shot my stash because there were definitely a couple of items in there that I was like, I've really ignored this one. And this one, I swear I've probably used twice since I bought it. And I wanna say I hauled it back in November, like on my birthday or around my birthday, but November of last year, somewhere around there, November, December. And I have not reached for it since then. It's so bad. You guys, this foundation, oh my gosh, it's an instant love. I hope it doesn't have like ingredients in it that would really irritate you guys because I just think this foundation is freaking fantastic. I wanna try these Moira next. I know I'm mixing kind of affordable with high end. I, that's what I do, that's what I like. I have one in the shade Honey Pie and then the more mauve shade is in My Darling. You know what, I think I'll just do one shade but I'll swatch both of them. So these are the Love Steady Liquid Blushes. Here's the, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one off my cheeks today. There's the hun honey pie one. Let's rub it in and see. Wow, you guys, no patching. It's just evenly spreading. Ooh, I love the thought of that. That is making me excited. And you can definitely see the radiant finish on it. But it's not sticky. It's like damp and wet but like not sticky. It's definitely lifting. So I feel like you may, or we may want to set it down with some powder, but of course that's gonna, you know, that's gonna eliminate some of the radiant finish. Let me swatch this one in my darling. I always forget the shades five seconds after I say them. Let me rub this one in too to see how it looks compared to the other one. Whew, it's so pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna pick it up from this one little swatch right here because I don't want to do the whole Juvia's Place liquid blush thing and <laughs> really screw myself up. So with these liquid blushes and me doing the try on, I just pick up so much from my hand. I apply a lot. Even this, you guys need a very, very little. You can already see I've gone in pretty heavy and it wasn't hard to do. Oh, this is beautiful. Like even the shade is so gorgeous. I really enjoy this. And I feel like it's not a thick formula. It's really smooth. And so it even has like powder formula like qualities about it with a tiny bit of a radiant finish. That's pretty much all I think I need. I might've gone in a little heavier on one side than the other. It's kind of hard to tell <laughs> sometimes sitting up here. Sometimes I'll watch my videos back and I can see that I went heavier on this side, which is because it looks to me like it's not as heavy. I don't know, anyway, this blush is just super, super beautiful. This formula, I'm going to set some of this down because I don't want it to lift. Ooh, it's still with this powder because it's like powder, no powder. It's a lighter powder. 
it definitely left a little bit of the radiant finish, not too much. Because they did such a good job in the face sculpt formula and basically pretty much every other formulation that I've tried from Moira has been so good, I'm not surprised that these are a good formulation. I am going to try this Mauve Glow, the Gen Nude Highlighting Blush as a highlighter. I just think that I probably can. I mean, it'll be dark and deep and you guys won't necessarily be able to see it as a blush, but Again, using another product from Rare Beauty. I'm gonna use her highlighting brush. Oh, it picks up. It's actually kind of a really cool highlighter shade, even for my fair skin. Like, you could definitely use this product. I mean, you can use any product that you want to. It's so funny, I did my Prada Beauty try-on, and like, what they call the lipstick is like a, like a blush slash lipstick like you can use it for both but at the same time like why would i even forget that that's a thing like you can use lipstick anywhere you want to it's a cream formula if it's good enough for your lips it's good enough for your cheeks you know you guys this is such a beautiful shade like this mauve glow i feel like can be used on top of a matte liquid blush to give it just a little bit of shine and to lock it down it's still even like a beautiful highlighter and Look how smooth it looks. Oh, I mean, I feel like that tells me it, it wouldn't emphasize too much texture. So far, everything is gorgeous. All right, I want to go into this mascara next. So this is the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara, and the way she markets is, it's supposed to be one dip, one coat, and wow. So I just pulled it out once, I am only going to well, I'm not gonna dip it back in so you guys can see what one dip gets me. And um, the fan is on, so sometimes that dries the brush out or it dries onto my lashes quicker than it normally would. But I'll show you, without cuts, what this looks like with one dip and one coat. I'm pretty much done. I mean, I would like to build it up, but I have to show you guys. I just turned the brush a little bit. Oh darn, I just stumbled on my words, so I'm definitely gonna cut that <laughs> section because I was saying some crazy stuff, but that is one coat and one dip. I like it. I think that that's kind of my everyday application. This is such a beautiful mascara for me. It's small bristles. I've been really enjoying it. You guys, this morning, I was walking up the stairs to come up here and film, and I legit stubbed my toe super hard on the stairs. And I thought, oh, I'm fine. But like, I was lifting my foot above the stairs with flip-flops on. People do call them flip-flops still, right? And I had boxes in my hand, so I hit my toe on the next stair as I was stepping up. I did just put it back in, but I'm kind of like talking and doing this at the same time. And uh, yeah, almost tripped and died because, you know, I wasn't watching where my feet were going. And then my toe started to hurt so badly. I'm like, did I break it? So right now it hurts so much. And it didn't hurt initially, but I at least jammed it. But the worst part was like, you know, I almost biffed it, like straight up fell. I know I'm not old, but even at almost 40, I feel like your ass gotta be careful how you walk. That's my little chit chat. Let's go into this uh, Charlotte Tilbury lip blur. All right, I got mine in the shade Rose Blur. So it's definitely a more pink shade than I would have liked. I would have liked to have picked up Pillow Talk, but they were totally sold out when I picked it up in Sephora. I have tried this on already in that Sephora video. So if you guys have seen that, you have seen how this looks. It's really soft and comfortable and it's super duper lightweight. It's actually a really, really nice formula as far as like lip blurs go and almost kind of like a stain. So it's like this matte whipped stainy. I don't know, it's really cool, it's nice. You know, you can even like kind of share it out. I do wanna to top this with this lip gloss though, the 411 Lip Glaze. It's the shimmering lip gloss. I have not opened this. I don't think this comes in a shade, unfortunately. It's just, oh, it does. It's, it's called Papped, which I'm assuming is like paparazzi. 
it was like the iridescent one, just the clearish, milkyish iridescent one. Here is the little baby bottle. Oh, it's got like one of those flat paddles. Those are my favorite. I love the way that these apply to the lips, these little flat paddles. This is a super, really, really sticky formula. Still very bright in here. But, um, we're still going for it. Uh, this smells like childhood. Something in this has like um like an ice cream truck smell. I don't know. It's very ice cream smelling. Really enjoyable. It has it has like a fruity scent to it. Wow, I like that. I like this whole look. This is like okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. This is how I do my makeup every single day when I'm not playing around, when I'm just going out. And I really enjoyed everything that I tried. There wasn't anything that here that I'm like, is this really gonna be something that I think about reaching for? I think the eyeshadow stick formulas was really good. This foundation is, like if you were thinking about getting this foundation, it's gorgeous. If you wanna do a little bit of splurge, for me and my skin type, which is kind of combo, I'm oilier in the center, I'm drier on the outside, I have texture, you know, I have fine lines. It doesn't sink into my fine lines. Like, ugh. It's just such a perfecting foundation. So yeah, if you were thinking about getting, I think it's worth it. If you're a fan of Moira Beauty or just blushes or liquid blushes or in general, I think this is a really beautiful formula and super easy to work with. They're highly pigmented though. Even the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Blur is beautiful. These lip products from BH are really good. I'm sorry I didn't get to try the blushes on camera, but maybe I will. Huda Beauty Mascara becoming one of my favorites. It even looks like it kind of curls my lashes when I'm looking into the mirror. Even this um, Gen Nude blush, where did the blush go? What did I do with the blush? Oh, this. I loved the way this swatched. I love the way this looks even as a highlighter. So I think this is even a multi-use product. And that was everything for me today. I really enjoyed everything I sat down and played with more so than most videos that I film. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am out of here and I hope to catch you all on my next one. Bye.